that you have a, a police officer, a man who puts his life on the line every day to defend our communities, who was shot by a gang member, left for dead on the street. California Assemblymember Kevin DeLeon is trying to stop tragedies like that and keep bullets out of the hands of criminals with Assembly Bill 962. AB 962 is about closing the dangerous loopholes we have in California law that currently allows convicted felons and gang members to legally be sold ammunition. In California, criminals cannot legally buy guns, but they can legally be sold ammunition. If passed, AB 962 would prohibit the sale of bullets to gang members and convicted felons. It would also keep track of who's buying and selling ammunition. Because I had no idea if he was hurt worse than I was or not hurt as much. Detective Abram Yap and Officer Roy Wade of the Long Beach Police Department were gunned down by a known gang member who was legally sold ammunition. As soon as we uh, lit the guy up on a traffic stop, he immediately jumped out of the car, pointed a handgun at us, and unloaded 12 rounds at our car in six seconds. That's very quick. Detective Yap was shot in the head and mouth. His partner, Officer Wade, received four bullets to the chest. My um, wounds actually um, caused me to actually go into cardiac arrest. I actually passed away and was brought back to life. Officer Wade continues to suffer from circulation problems in his arm, but is still a police officer. Both Yap and Wade are strong supporters of AB 962, as well as most law enforcement agencies up and down the state, including the Sacramento Police Department. So it's kind of a prevention piece for us in trying to prevent violence before it occurs. Sacramento Police Chief Rick Brazil is pleased with the success of a similar law the city of Sacramento already has on its books. In 2008 alone, Sacramento police officers were able to catch 156 people who illegally purchased ammunition, which led to the discovery of even more dangerous items. Machine guns, we've got eight bombs. Um, sawed off rifles, sawed off shotguns, a lot of illegal weapons in the process. And, and so what we end up doing is using the ammo ordinance to identify those folks who uh, are not allowed to possess weapons and, and based on the weapons we're, we're recovering are those that we're going to use them for some illegal activity. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear from AB 962. They will still be able to legally purchase ammunition. Assemblymember De Leon wants to make it clear that criminals are the target of this legislation in an effort to keep our neighborhoods safe. And that's why it's my role as a legislator to do everything possible to provide all the tools necessary for men and women in blue so they can protect themselves and therefore they can protect everyone else in the community. This report was produced by the Speaker's Office of Member Services.